Hey guys, Soko's 94 here today doing a figure review of the Indominus Rex or Jurassic World Indominus Rex versus Gyrosphere set. Now I got this figure at Walmart for about twenty dollars, I think it was, and yeah, and I spent him. Well, I got him for twenty bucks. Yeah, um, that's about how much for how I got him. So. This is, I think, the last Indominus Rex figure I'll get. I have a lot of the other ones, and I don't see the point in getting the um, Hero Masher or the Lego one. Um, I mean, I could get the Lego one for some reason alone on eBay. It sells for like $80, which is about as much as the SH Monster Arts Gigan, which doesn't make any sense why a little Lego will sell for that much. But, um, and the Hero Masher just doesn't seem that interesting to me. The, I don't feel like wasting $20 on it. So, yeah. This is probably the last Indominus Rex thing I'll buy. Now, on to the sculpt. Well, first we'll go with the Gyrosphere. Now, it's, a, it's pretty cool, this little sphere. I mean, on the bottom you have wheels. And yes, they do turn, so you can roll it a bit. You also got this little stand so that it can stay. Oh, and right here, there, it comes with a little blue disc. Now, it has a cool function. This gray button right here. This gray button, when you press it, this little plastic thing flips up, and the seat goes outward like that. So... Also, let's review the little man. Now, this little man is like one of these classic army soldier guys, but a really old toy. I mean, so old that the arms swing up and down at the same exact time. And the legs, they go back and forth at the same exact time. That's a really old looking art style toy. I mean, now you, they should be able to go like... One, I can manage to make one go up at a time if I really wanted to. Then it just goes back down. But, yeah. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the little man in the gyrosphere. Now he doesn't stay for me that well. And then what will happen, press the gray button. And then he flops forward, and then the Dominus Rex is supposed to eat him up. So, yeah, the gyrosphere, under the gyrosphere itself, the paint job is really nice. I mean, there isn't a lot of paint job. I mean, all you have is clear plastic and some blue plastic, but it looks really cool. Also, the little disc thing, it is, like, annoying. I'll show you that in a second, but it is powerful. So now onto the Indominus Rex. Now, this Indominus Rex is a little weird. I personally, it's not my favorite. I like the other Indominus Rex better, but, for example, it has a gimmick. It slams down its tail and its jaws. Well, if you, if the jaws are really weak, like... See? So if you're going like this, nothing happens. If you're going like that, though, they go crazy. But I got one. Sadly, there's only two. The other one would just stay shut like this. I mean, this one does a little bit, but... But it doesn't really, unless you, like, hold it down a bit, see? But the only other one they had was this one. This one screeched squeaks like crazy but also some weird thing with the head the tail goes up and down so it goes like that but the head can also tilt to the left so but there's no turning thing on here so the head can't move only if you press it like there it doesn't make any sense now onto the paint um Get, move this a bit. I can't get on the stand that well, but there we go. 
Now, he is... Let's see if I can get him in the sun a bit. This son of a... I'm joking. We'll try friendly here. So, the head, the paint job is pretty nice. It's got this weird red around. I think that's supposed to be blood. But it looks more like weird lipstick. The teeth are yellow. Screw holes everywhere. It's got this yellow kind of paint on the top of it. Which fades to gray. It's got giant arms, the feathery parts. The, the face isn't sculpted that well, in my opinion. I don't really like the face sculpt. I think it's kind of sloppy. Um, on the other side... Oh, but I do like this. Oh my gosh. Now, on the new toys, most of them have dino damage. But, you can't, it's stuck there, like the, on the chomping toys, and now it's my finger. The chomping toys have dino damage, and you're stuck with it. There's no way to fix it, but three of the toys that they made, there's a way to cover up the dino damage. Before, they had that little rubber kind of plastic piece that you put over. Which, by the way, I would love to have one of the original um, toys that had that. Because my Jurassic Park toys don't have that. But this one is spring-locked. So, you just tap it slightly. It springs open. Now, the Pterosaur, the Mosasaur, and the Sodomus Rex have that function. Now, what you're supposed to do is use this little launcher thing. You can line it up and it's supposed to do that. So, yeah, that was really fast. So that's the function, and it's actually getting really hot just from sitting in the sun a little bit. I prefer sunlight over using lamps and stuff. Now for articulation. I'll put this back over here. There we go. For articulation, the tail goes up and down. The head goes up and down. The arms go up about that much. Both of them. Up about that much. Down about there. The legs go forward about that much each. And back about that much. You can give them a nice cut. But this leg, for some reason, on mine is really loose. It's not loose enough that you could shake it, but it's really loose. Oh, also, there's the JW logo. Kind of hard to see, but it's on this leg. Now, on a size comparison, I have this guy positioned where his arm is kind of touching the ground, that way he could stand better. But on a size comparison, here he is next to the little blind bag in Dominus Rex. Oh my gosh. Blind bag in Dominus Rex doesn't like to stand either. There we go. And here he is next to the giant roaring in Dominus Rex. And yes, I'm holding him because otherwise he's going to fall. So there's the size... Oh, and where's the... There's the gyrosphere. It's upside down, I know. And the, there's the little man. I can get him to stand better. So there you have it. There's the size comparison. I think you can do that scene from the movie. This one... You can't do the scene from the movie, um, um, you, well, this is, I, I was wondering if this was spoilers or not, but it was in a trailer, so, there's a scene, obviously, it was in the trailer, where the Indominus Rex attacks the gyrosphere, and this one, he, you can't, oh, there you go, and he got stuck for it, see, I kinda got a bad toy, You're not supposed to get ones that got stuck, but I got one, but, you can't basically bite the whole entire gyrosphere. But, if you have the giant Indominus Rex like I do, you can recreate that scene. Where he bites the entire gyrosphere. I think you can see me, maybe. What's up, people? Yep, there it is. So, there you have it. Um, this is one of the better... Um, there it rolls away. This is one of the better... Nothing stands. None of these Jurassic World things stand. Nothing. They all fall. 
Thank you, Hasbro. But this is one of the better Jurassic World toys, in my opinion. Um, still has its flaws, but this is one of the better ones. And I prefer it over, like, I will probably won't get many more. I might get Blue and Spinosaurus, but other than, and may, maybe the Mosasaur, but other than that, I probably won't get any more Jurassic World things. Oh, by the way, I won a contest from a YouTube channel called Advertising Nuts, link in the description, where he was giving away a set of Brawlosaurus, so I now have, or I will have, um, I have five right now, I'll have seven Brawlosaurus. Because I have the Velociraptor Allosaur set, Indominus Rex and Ankylosaur set, and the Carnoraptor. Soon I'll have the T-Rex and Triceratops set. At least I hope that's the one he's given me. Anyway, I give this figure out of five stars probably a three and a half, maybe a four. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.